Okay, now you'll make a video on a Muslim country and say that it's the best, right? That's why you're making a video on a Middle Eastern country. I know what your plans are. Actually, not true. I myself am not a big fan of going to Dubai for your masters. Maybe for your bachelors, but definitely not for your masters. In this video, we'll be decoding all the truths of studying in Dubai. There are some counselors that might tell you, yes, 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 go to Dubai. I personally feel like, no, it's not that great of a destination. So without further ado, let's directly jump into it. Let's talk about the pros of studying in Dubai. Studying in Dubai is definitely value for money. So ideally, you will be spending somewhere around 7 lakh rupees for your living expenses and 13 lakh rupees for your tuition expenses. So you will be spending somewhere around 20 lakh rupees for your entire college in Dubai. Okay, 20 lakh rupees. And how much will you be earning? Your salary would be somewhere around 70,000 Indian rupees. So that's somewhere around eight and a half lakhs let's just say nine lakh rupees so you'll be spending 20 lakh rupees and return would be nine lakh rupees value for money uh, in canada you will be spending somewhere around 24 lakh rupees so that's just 20 percent more than what you'll be spending in dubai and the salaries that you'll be earning would be 50 to 60 percent more than what you'll be earning in dubai but then what are taxes Yes, there are higher taxes in Canada. In fact, Dubai does not have taxes at all, but job opportunities in Canada are way, way, way much more easier to find. Yeah, so for the first point, Dubai. Second point is when you're studying in Dubai, you will get extreme international exposure because you will be studying with people from 150 nationalities. That's crazy, right? But when you look, I was going through a report and under that report, it was mentioned that out of the people who are doing their degrees from Dubai, 40% are Indians, 38.3%, 40%. Out of the Emirati students, 15% are Emirati students. Wow. Okay. So, baki to international students honge na? Next major class are Pakistani students. And next major class are Bangladeshi students. So approximately 85% of your class would be Indians, Emirati, Pakistani, Bangladeshi. So international exposure. At this point, I would want to ask you guys, do you have any idea how a LPU or a Sharda ki class looks like the world, the is, world here. is here? And so how the class is... composition of LPU and Sharda is specifically Sharda. Do let me know if you know that in the comment section, but yes, in Dubai, it will be only 15% international students. Point number three is flexible visa. Ye to definitely I'll have to give to Dubai, right? I'll have to give it to Dubai, right? Post-study work visa. In Canada, you will be getting a post-study work visa of one, two or three years. In Australia, you might get a post-study work visa of four years. In UK, you get a post-study work visa of 22 years. In Dubai, you have 30 days to find a job. Citizenship? Oh shit. In the way you do not get citizenship. In Canada, in just three or four years, you might just become a citizen of Canada. In Germany, you might just become a citizen of Germany in seven years. So, oh shit. In fact, there is a chance of you becoming a citizen of USA, but you'll never become a citizen of Dubai. Shit, ego point, that does not go to Dubai. Next point is, it is easier to get into very good universities and, okay, I'll give this point to Dubai. Pakka, pakka, is bari dunga. I'll give this point to Dubai that yes, it is very easy to get into very good universities. American University of Dubai, uh, Middlesex University, HALT, very good universities. You can get into these universities. Is there any con for this? Wait, Spilani. Yes, amazing. The con is, it's easy for you to get into this university. It is easy for you to get into a very good university. Would that university actually be that good? Why does a university become good? Because the number of people, the quality of people that are entering to those institutions are amazing. If everyone can enter to those institutes, to those institutions, would that still stay the same? These are very big names. Halt, amazing, crazy big name. But the thing is, it is not their main campus. It's a subsidiary. You can call it a subsidiary that they have. And for that, it is not that great of a subsidiary. So yes, getting into these universities is very easy. You all almost in most of the universities, all you require is an IELTS score. So yes, it's easy, but does it make sense? I would say it does not. Some universities might require some additional documents as well, but that does not mean that it automatically becomes very good. 
some of these universities are good but their main campuses are good not their dubai wala campus so that is something you should know go and check their qs rankings go and check their times rankings but sometimes even those are paid for so try to take all the facts with a pinch of salt what else you can do is talk to people from those universities and ask them what are the job prospects what have their seniors done and check what those people are actually doing in dubai fifth point is you can transfer your credits and go and study in the main campus so abhi bol rahe the na ki middle six university and halt university are great but then their subsidiaries are not that great so ab i'll go and study in the main university and that will be amazing right right Ideally, these universities do not allow you to transfer all your credits and switch your degree from a Dubai-based college to their main campus. That they do not allow. Yes, sometimes they do allow you to go and study in the main university for a semester or two, just semester or two. So if it's a six-semester degree or three-year degree, so they'll allow you to go for three semesters more, for, most probably. But that does not mean that you'll be completing your education from the main campus. That still means that you'll be studying from the uh, Dubai wala campus. Now, what's the problem with that? First problem is they'll be charging you exuberant fees. So, what the actual fees is? Sometimes they end up charging even more than that, and you still have to pay the fees that you have to pay in Dubai. So, that's crazy expensive. Does it end there? It does not end there. At the same time, many universities do not even want Dubai wala students to study in the. in their main campus so what they prefer to do is they prefer to make a separate class for those students a separate class so it's not like you will be going and studying in the main campus for some universities yes it does happen but for many universities it's like you take your dubai wali class and just control c control v it in your main campus that's all what's going to happen and do i need that i possibly if it was for me i would actually go to a better university that's like my opinion and since you guys subscribe to this channel i hope you do subscribe to this channel but since you do subscribe to this channel i honestly feel like you are very smart you know that there are better options out there dubai is not that great of an option you can have your own reasons for studying in dubai there are some good reasons as well so you can be going there because of your family you have your family members there or because your family has asked you to go there you can be going there because it's safe it's very safe for women definitely extremely safe for women as opposed to australia usa amazingly safe uh, you can be going there because it's nearer to you so ideally dubai is way much more closer than going to chennai let's suppose so yeah if i have to take a flight from delhi to uh, dubai that's closer than a flight from delhi to chennai so that can be one more reason another reason can be uh, transferring your credits from your in indian university can be very easy or your any other university can be very easy because it has all the boards so it has uh, i'm talking in terms of your schooling so it has all the boards cbse board a level board o level board it also has ib so it has all the boards out there so yeah transferring your credits can be very easy you can also be going there because of your religion so that is also understandable and yes does make sense for those cases but apart from that if you do not have all these things in mind uh, there are better universities and since the first biggest point every counselor told me that dubai is definitely value for money you should check out italy you end up getting 10400 euros from the italian government to study there check out italy guys <laughs>